after looking at myself in the mirror, I realized I'm 32 years old. I got 32 wins. I have had an illustrious career in the UFC. I have even been admitted to the Hall of Fame. I done went through title after title. I done held belts. But what's next for me? Well, it's time to defend my belt. This is a fill-in fight. I didn't even have time to prepare. But you know me, man. I come in. I'm always making weight. You don't never got to worry about me eating too much. <laughs> I'm in the gym always. But I just want to thank everybody for watching me strive, do what I do. I guess I got to defend my belt every single time, man. I'm a light heavyweight now. <laughs> I ain't a middleweight no more. Let's do it. Team IKC. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This man is a former welterweight champion of five. He is the former UFC middleweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the reigning, defending UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. Presenting the legendary UFC Hall of Fame octagon warrior, David the King. Let's go, Griffin. Let's put on the show, baby. Give out a little bit of dab high kick. You don't want no parts of me. Now, let me slow it down a little bit. I know usually I come into the fight doing a little bit too much, throwing my hands a little bit too much. I hope you guys noticed that I have turned the HUD off. A lot of people was complaining to me, telling me that I was only doing certain moves because I knew that my stamina wasn't depleted. So, I turned the HUD off for you guys. Also, for everybody that's just tuning into my UFC videos, I am playing on advanced difficulty. I'm not playing on the hardest. I know I should be. Maybe if I make another fighter, I might. You know, I might, you know, I might make a, a big heavyweight. You know, somebody that's about 6'4", you know, about 250. But, you know, as of right now, this is my middleweight. Um, I have won every belt in the divisions that I can only fight in. Also, my submission defense is okay. It's not that great. You know, as you can see, my stamina is low compared to Griffin's, but I'm doing my thing. Now, on the ground, I will tell you this. Griffin is a beast. Sometimes I got to let him up because I know that if I'm on the ground for too long, you know, trying to fight his transitions, block his transitions, he's just going to put me in some type of submission and it's going, the fight is going to be over. So, but as you can see here, he's kind of quick with his hands and feet. You know, I'm trying to wear him down, but he's wearing me down as well. So this is a fair even fight as of right now. I would even give the first round to this guy just because of that high kick right there. But you see me take him to the ground. That was an outstanding takedown after a kick. Now, you see me fighting the transitions, man. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get the full amount. I'm trying to put him in at something nice. But you can see I'm not letting him escape. I'm getting my blocks on, all of that. You see me fighting him. But I do want to tell you guys, UFC is a great game. And I'm going to tell you three reasons why. The first reason is... It is a great stress reliever for 2K12. I will tell you that. Playing 2K12, man, I need a game where I can just unwind and stuff like that. So I chose UFC as my game to unwind. Also, I'm a fan of the UFC. I'm a fan of the sport, and I love the game. And three, the graphics are great. The way that the fight animations happen and, the, and all of that, everything is perfect with this game. I wouldn't take nothing away from it, but... I will tell you one thing, EA has taken the rights, and it looks like they'll be making the next UFC game next season, so it is what it is, man. UFC Undisputed 4, if they keep that name, it might be better, it might not, you know, because THQ made this game, so it is what it is. Let's get into the second round. Now, round two, I try to step it up a little bit, man. I, I try to, no, like, I don't know what it is about this guy, but he likes kicking low. And I was like, why does he keep kicking me low? So I'm just trying to do the same thing he's doing, try to mix it up. But he was tagging me and tagging me and tagging me. But I caught the leg and done nothing with it. And he's just still tagging me. So I need to find some way to beat this guy. Because, you know, in real life, Griffin isn't the fastest guy in the world. But it seemed like with every shot this match, 
he was getting them off time and time again. Like, look at this guy. Hit me in my face. Hit me in the body. Giving me thrust kicks. Everything. Now, luckily, I hit him in the leg before he got off that Superman punch. So, we're all good as of right now. And I know a lot of people are thinking, this usually isn't my type of game. Usually, I, I do what I just did right now. Take him down. Get to the ground and try to beat him to a pulp. But, seriously, I was trying to get a submission. I'm not even going to lie to you guys, man. A lot of people have been asking me, Apa, why don't you do submissions what is your problem do you, are you are you submission illiterate <laughs> do you not know how to do a submission but one thing i will tell you is i'm so good at ground and pound that submissions just never really come to me at all in the game usually i never even think about pressing down on the right trigger at all i mean well not trigger but the right thumbstick ever really that's that's just it's just that simple to me but you see me pass the half guard. You see that butterfly, man. Every time he put me in a butterfly guard, he comes with that triangle, man. So if for anybody that ever fights Griffin, know that when he gets his butterfly butterfly guard on, watch out for that triangle. But check me out with the nice slam. I'm getting out of the submissions nice and easy, man. Even though I got low stamina, I'm running away from his joint <laughs> all I can. But check it out. Look at this, man. Now I got a hold of my neck. I don't know what to do. This is crazy, man. I, I can't stop this guy from putting me in submissions. A, a lot of people are probably going to say in the comment section, block his transitions. Block it. But seriously, to tell you the truth, you can't block a man transitions when that's all he doing on the ground. All he doing is trying to reverse my moves, and he's winning every single time. Now, check it out. He got me in a butterfly, butterfly guard. Now he's holding on to my leg, not trying to let me get that full mount. I'm telling you, this advanced difficulty ain't nothing to play with with certain fighters, I'm telling you. But you see me trying to get my ground and pound on, doing what I always do. He got a nice little hip escape. I'm back to the full mount. I just can't mount up. up now I get it at the end of the... At, oh, wow, that's crazy. Let's get into the third quarter. I mean, my bad, third round. <laughs> All right, round three, y'all. I'm starting off just how I like, you know, get his legs hurting a little bit. Get his stamina depleted. I'm going to the body. I'm going to the legs. He's doing the same exact thing as me, man. He knows what I'm trying, and he's trying the same exact thing. He's trying to go out with a submission just like me, so I can't take nothing away from him, man. But you see me mixing up my shots now. I'm giving him a little bit of one-two kick, and he's doing the same thing. It seems like he's mirroring, like, everything that I do. So now you see me with the nice little takedown. You know me, man. Trying to go after his head hunting, you know. But he gets back to his feet. You see me head hunting again. Uh, see, that's the one thing you don't want me to start head hunting because I could take, a, I could put a guy out in seconds. That's the only thing about me. But you see me trying to grab his head, man. All I'm trying to do is get in the clinch so I can try my boy Muay Thai knees. So let's see what I can do here. Got a nice little Muay Thai clinch. Now, notice he's blocking all of those transitions. He's not letting it go down. Now, he even pushed me off, but you see his high kick, man. That thing is awesome. But I, I just can't get this guy down for nothing. So, you know what? I'm going to just go back to what I know a little bit. See if I can try to get him down that way. Giving him a little bit of body kicks, a little bit of head kicks. But, you know me. I'm just trying to get him the stamina down because, like I said, I don't got the HUD. So, I can't see when this guy is tired. But you like the midsection kicks. I know you guys do. You like the leg kicks. Getting him out of his rhythm a little bit. My head kicks, they're not perfect, even though they are leveled up. They're not perfect. I don't know when to throw them at the right specific time. Maybe I should throw like a one-two combination with like a jab and a high kick. But you see the nice judo throw. We back on the ground. I decided, you know what, forget the submissions right now. I need the ground and pound. You see me about to throw them elbows. You know when I posture up, it's crazy. But I know this from now on. Whenever he getting that butterfly, but, butterfly, ugh, butterfly guard, I'm going. Oh, uh oh, hold up, wait. What? Here it go. This is my first time. This is the arm bar. Look, I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do. I'm so used to running away. <laughs> Look, and that's why I do not try submissions. I didn't know what to do in that sequence right there. I didn't know if I was running. If, I don't know if he might have reversed me and caught me in the submission. I can't take no chances. <laughs> but now the fight is starting to slow down. You know, get a, get a stamina depleted. You like the uppercut. I know you guys do. But this round is about to come to the end. You know, we're about to get into the fourth round after that judo throw. Round four championship rounds. Woo! I can't believe I'm going to the fourth round with this guy. He's not even a top 10 fighter, right? But it's all good, man. This is a game. Uh-oh, judo throw. We back on the ground. Now, I'm trying to get the north-south. There we go. Now, he's getting right out of it, man. Look at this. Uh-oh. 
Right back at it. I'm trying to get his stamina down. Oh, hold up, butterfly guard. I knew it. I knew he was gonna reverse that one. Hold up. Now this is where my defense comes in at. I hold on to him, make sure he can't get to my head. He passes the half guard. I'm trying to get up out of that. You see me blocking his transitions, man. I'm not letting it go down. Up. Oh, he keep going right back to half guard. So now I'm gonna try to ride the gate, see if I can get up. Uh, he's passing every single time. This is one thing I don't like about UFC. Being on the bottom is the worst feeling ever because you don't know what can happen. You don't know if he can get a full mount and just start pummeling you. So now I'm up. I'm trying to get a little bit of my stamina back. So I go straight to a clinch. Now I'm on the ground. So this time I have the dominant position. So this time I'm just going to put all my weight on him, sit on him, and just wait it out. Now you see that butterfly guard? I hate it. So every time I see the butterfly guard, I'm trying to work my transitions. It's that simple. Half guard, side control. Now from here, I'm just going to try to pummel him out real quick, man. See what's up with him. Now you notice he got to cut over his left eye. So, oh, shout out the left eye, man. Rest in peace, mama. That just came, that just came off the top. I don't even know why I said that. But, you know, now I got the full mount. You see me posturing up. I'm going to try to pummel this guy a little bit, man. See what else I can do. Nice hip escape from him. Now I got the elbows rocking. <laughs> you feel me? I love them elbows, boy. Now, you see the butterfly. You see me pop back the half guard. I'm not going for it. I'm telling you, though, that butterfly, I ain't about that. I ain't about that life, man. Now, you notice he got the butterfly again. I passed the half guard. I'm trying to get the side control, man, to stay away from the butterfly guard. But he just loves that thing. Now, you see the, me posturing up, giving him elbows, giving him elbows, giving him elbows. Why not try another submission? Why not try another submission? Come on. Look, look, reverse. He escaped it. I, yo, I don't even think I got it like anywhere near my. Yo, that's sad. That's a sad thing, man. I'm not doing submissions no more. I promise you. I'm a knockout artist. For the rest of my career, I will be a knockout artist, man. Now we got to go to the fifth round because of me. Because I can't get a submission, right? Let's go. Fifth round. This is the fifth round. Championship round. This is where it all counts. We all lay it down right here, right now. Let's go, y'all. Now, we going back and forth with each other. You can see that his kidneys is about to get it. I'm about to tear him up head, toe, head, toe. I'm telling you guys, watch my combination game right now, man. Look, top, up, top, up, top, bottom, top. Woo I'm telling y'all, man, if I was a boxer, if this was fight night, I'd be rocking. That's real talk. I'm going body, head, body, head. That's all I'm trying to do. I don't care how tired I am, man. I'm going to just try to get him tired, make him bleed a little bit. You know me. Look at this. <laughs> I'm not even letting him get his kicks off. I'm staying in close. But check out the clinch, man. He couldn't take it no more, man. That last body shot must have hurt him. You know, usually the computer don't clinch <laughs> until they hurt. So you already know what it is. Now, I'm in a full guard. He kicks me off with ease. It's all good. I'm going to try the same thing I'm doing right now. Uppercuts, head, body, head, body. That's all it is. You notice I, I left the kicking at home. I don't even care about kicking no more. Real talk. <laughs> I'm about that punch in life. He want to he wanna strike with me. That's cool. Now, you notice I'm real tired. So, I tried to go for a takedown. It didn't work. It was stuffed. I ain't even going to lie. But I like his one-two combination. Now, we up against the... Oh, uh-oh. Hold up. Hold up. You don't want to get up against that cage. I'm telling you, man. I got that Muay Thai in my life. You don't want that. Now, you see me trying to take him down. I'm wasting a lot of stamina right here. Now, I finally get the takedown. This is what it's all about right here. He puts me in another submission. I'm trying to run away. You already know me, man. I'm going to just spin that thing in a full circle. Look at me trying to hide from him. Look, we playing, we playing hide and seek right now. But I finally get out of it. Now, I'm trying to get the uh, side position. Uh-oh, you see me right here. I'm trying to get some. Uh-oh, here go the full mount. This is it. Ah, Come on, all I got to do is posture up right here. Here we go. I'm so tired right now. My stamina is going. Like, so now I'm going to just sit my weight on him. Look. Sit my weight. Posture up. Oh! Hold up. Hold up. It's over. It's all. Is he dead? Hey, ref. Come come clean this guy up. Hey, ref. Woo! Good luck. Man, that was a hell of a performance, right? Man, even when I make mistakes throughout a fight, I still came out on top. That's what I'm talking about, man. Look at that vicious elbow. Straight to the center of his face, to the bridge of his nose. It's over. He said, good night, man. Hey, somebody come get this man a robe, a pillow. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, you know what? Somebody go... 
go get him a bath or something, man. He need to wake up, man. He needs some Epsom salt. <laughs> the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 11 seconds of the fifth round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, David the King. The King retains his UFC championship. You. I just want to thank everybody for watching. Hit me up on Twitter at iPodKingCarter. Yo, also, shout out to everybody that been throwing me them likes. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up in the comment section, y'all. Peace.